He was a padre in the army, going around to people's homes to let them know that their loved ones had passed away. And over a period of years, that left a mark on him. I think, like for both of us, that was a that's a powerful image to create and then to wash off the molasses and leave that image and leave that moment and leave that those thoughts there on the mat in this puddle of molasses is also equally powerful to be cleansed of that. I am Mike Armstrong, I'm an army veteran. I served for 23 years in a whole variety of roles. And I've deployed to um, East Timor, Afghanistan and Iraq on different missions. I'd sort of lost a part of me. My PTSD was so severe, the symptoms that I was enduring on a daily basis meant that I just didn't have the mental capacity and the energy to be able to paint, draw or sculpt anymore. It felt like my eyes were not working and my brain was not working and that, that this final little thing that I had that was able to keep me motivated was gone. And that was, a I packed up and shut the studio door and I didn't enter my studio for three months after that. I was sort of heartbroken by that realization. And then at the end of the three months though, I was like, I need to do something. Maybe I can take photographs. And so they sent me in ho to hospital for an assessment at South Coast, and I did phase one PTSD treatment there. During that treatment, I was like, what does this feel like on a daily basis? And I was talking to the other people that I was in, on course with, and I said, it feels like you're sunk into molasses. This sticky, dark, consuming blackness. I was so captivated by the idea of that metaphor that when I got out, I was talking to some friends and eventually a friend put their hand up and said, hey, I wanna come and do that shoot. I wanna do a molasses shoot. And then one shoot led to two and two led to three. And I had these people reaching out to me and saying, your story resonates, your photos resonate. Your they've helped me to realize some things and I'm going to go get help. And this happened so many times that I couldn't ignore it. It was like a moment where I was able to express and expose these aspects of my life that I had been suppressing and hiding for the last eight years of my career. It meant that I could actually have a medium to be able to practically, I guess, work through it and mm. attach to it. So that's where the molasses was really handy for that. What this project I think wants to achieve is also quite modern you know it wants to help people more than just looking at some photos and hearing stories it wants to do art workshops and it wants people to connect and I think that's really important for people that are struggling and need something that they can relate to it needs to be more ongoing it feels almost I guess liberating to see these photos on the wall of myself that, you know, people are going to hear and witness my story. To be able to share and empathise with them struggling with an existence that is not the existence that they want. Sharing that commonality is, has, is enormously powerful and listening to them as they tell their story. Even though there are dark images on this wall, Really importantly, there's images where these veterans show the washing off of those wounds, of those experiences, of those emotions, and they are cleansed by it through the, the ritual within the shoot. And they all come away feeling lighter. The body remembers, the body holds onto that. So if you don't express those emotions now, they're gonna come back at you, they're gonna eat you, they're gonna corrode you from inside. So I want you to step up and seek help, have a conversation. They're difficult, but they are worth it. And those individuals are worth it. This exhibition is about hope, hope for the future for these individuals. Uh, so for the next two years, it's traveling around Australia. It's going to be visiting as many cities and towns as we can in an effort to reach as many people as we can to be able to start those conversations and encourage them to seek help. I will continue to make art and I will continue to tell stories, tell stories and help people tell their stories. 
it's important to me. Like it's important to me because it, it, it's my way of continuing to serve.